So we're going to start out because the entree has to cook the longest and um, we're going to start it with the butter and I guess our aromatics as they say. And we'll put some garlic and a bunch of onions and let that kind of start to melt down. You've got it on what medium? We're going to use, we start off with uh, a half a cup of butter and one onion chopped. One onion chopped can be a big one or it can be a little one and it's just really to your taste. I think most times with this it's to your taste. If you like a lot of onion, put a lot of onion in. If you like yellow onions, use that. If you want a red onion, go for it. You know? And um, then we're going to put in um, the, garlic, the garlic and it's minced. It's about three or four cloves of garlic there. Again, that's to your taste. If you want a lot, put some more in. Um, a lot of times I just buy the the already minced garlic in a jar because it's so easy to just scoop it out and I just I just kind of guess because they're going to got little garlic cloves and big garlic cloves so we'll do all of that that's supposed to be soft and put the onion in with it and the sausage I just one pound of sausage there again if you want a little more a little less if you want to use the links uh, if you want to use a special type there's some new varieties and stuff out. And to start the sausage flavor to come out in the in the onions. Okay, got that going. Okay. And that's what a two pounds of potatoes, pound of potatoes? Two pounds. Two pounds of potatoes. And I I leave the skins on and I think the red ones just add a good color to it. I think that needs a top on it. I think if we put a top on those potatoes, they'll cook a little bit faster. And you want to add the beer in here now. We'll do the Guinness. And there again, it's another dark beer. It's a stout type. And that takes a whole bottle. You can use... Um, alcoholic or non-alcoholic beer in any of these recipes if you want to. The other thing if you're if you're just starting out with this and you I think a lot of people may have recipes they make chili and they use beer instead of the chicken stock or vegetable stock or beef stock in soup or chili or beef stew. I do a crock pot beef stew where we just regular beef stew and use uh, tomato sauce and whatever beer is laying around. <laughs> My husband brews beer and sometimes the batches come out pretty good uh, and sometimes they're okay for cooking. They'll cook out uh, but not so good for drinking or uh, sometimes they're real good for drinking and cooking. We do, he's done one that has chili flavor in it and that's really, I mean not chili, jalapeno flavor and it's really good in a chili, but those are good. Anything that's gonna cook all day long and just kind of soak up those flavors, absolutely, totally awesome with it. You looking pretty good? Yay, there you go. Potatoes getting done. Yeah. It takes about 20 minutes to cook potatoes, so, you know, kind of play it by ear. Take the top off and um, keep the heat going so, Maybe crank it up a little bit and cook off some of the beer. Now people ask, when you boil it like this, it boils the alcohol out of it. So if, if, if that's a concern, it does take that alcohol out. This is smelling really good, you know? It really, really, it, you know, that's the thing you don't catch with the TV. It's smelling pretty good. Turn the camera off. Like that, we'll take a little bit of onion and a little bit of parsley. Do that up. It's kind of, you know, it's an easy one dish supper and, and it looks good. Mm -hmm.